everyone. In this video, we are going to learn in detail about the process of wilting. In previous video, we have discussed about various factors which affect the rate of transpiration in plants. And these factors are like uh, temperature, light intensity, humidity, wind speed, etc. Okay. We know that in the process of transpiration, plants, they lose excess of water from leaves through stomata. And this water is actually lost from leaves in the form of water vapors. And these water vapors, they diffuse outside the leaf through stomata. Okay. And we have also discussed about uh, transpiration pool and transpiration stream in uh, previous videos. Okay. And we know that when plants they perform the process of transpiration in leaves low water potential is created okay and because of this low water potential there is actually a suction or a kind of force develops uh, in the leaf okay a kind of force developed in the leaf because of transpiration process okay now due to this suction or force the water which is present in the xylem vessels okay this water column it moves upward okay it moves upward in the plant because of the suction or a kind of force which is developed in leaves due to low water potential and this happens because of the process of transpiration and as this water column present in the xylem vessel of stem and uh, root moves up through the plant what happens now this root absorbs more and more water from the soil okay root of the plant they absorb more and more water from the soil now uh, the point is, if rate of transpiration is more, the rate of absorption of water by the roots of the plant from the soil would be more. Okay. Uh, now, there is a condition. For example, we have a plant here. Uh, this plant, uh, there are many factors which affect the rate of transpiration. Maybe the temperature is very high or uh, the light intensity is uh, present in good amount. Hence, plants, they open their uh, stomata leaves they open up their stomata so that more amount of light can enter inside the leaf and they can perform photosynthesis okay or maybe the temperature is very high so various conditions which affect the uh, process of uh, transpiration in plants okay now uh, for this particular plant maybe the light intensity is very high or the temperature is also very high okay so this plant will obviously perform transpiration at faster rate okay the rate of transpiration will be very high in this plant and for example uh, no water is present in the soil okay or it might happen like you know uh, the plant is present in the garden and no water was given to the plant present in the garden okay but the rate of transpiration was high now as there is no water or very limited amount of uh, water is there in the soil so what will happen here the rate of transpiration is higher but the rate of absorption of water by the plants is very less because there is no water available water supply was very less okay so actually in this case what happens is the leaves of the plant they wilt okay the plant actually undergoes wilting okay so wilting of plant occurs when the amount of water lost by the leaves of the plant is greater than the amount of water taken in by the roots okay that means rate of transpiration is higher than the rate of absorption of water okay so this point is in, uh, very important remember it for one mark in igcsc why wilting occurs wilting occurs in plants when the rate of uh, transpiration is very high compared to the rate of absorption of water by the roots of the plant okay and uh, one more very important point about this wilting is during wilting what happens is these plants uh, the leaves of the plants generally okay for example this is a leaf of the plant okay and in this we have a cell okay we know that there is a cell wall okay and then inside cell wall we have cell membrane and then we have this uh, vacuum which is filled with water okay so in a normal turgid cell if there is a turgid cell this vacuum is filled with water okay it's completely filled with water and uh, this actually as this vacuole or the cell is uh, fully filled with water so this vacuole applies a kind of pressure on the cell wall of this cell okay and this cell uh, this pressure is known as turgor pressure okay and such type of cell in which uh, the vacuole is fully filled with water and uh, the vacuole applies a kind of pressure on the cell wall of the cell such type of cell is known as turgid cell 
now in case of wilting as the rate of transpiration is higher than the rate of absorption of uh, water by the roots of the plant hence enough amount of water cannot be supplied to all the cells of the leaves especially okay so what happens is uh, slowly in the process of wilting first the turgor pressure is lost okay first the turgor pressure is lost from uh, turgid cell the cell first becomes flaccid cell okay flaccid cell means the cell which has sufficient amount of water but the turgor pressure is lost okay turgor pressure is lost okay and if there is like you know a continuous loss of water from the uh, from the leaves of the plant and the rate of absorption of water is very less so this uh, flaccid cell will now become plasmolyzed cell okay and what happens in the case of plasmolyzed cell this turgor pressure is completely lost and the vacuole inside the cell okay the vacuole inside the cell will shrink and the cell membrane will completely separate from the cell wall okay the cell membrane will completely separate from the cell wall and uh, like you know if we observe this plasmolyzed cell inside the uh, microscope okay if you observe this plasmolyzed cell under microscope we can easily make out uh, the cell wall and cell membrane separately and we can also see the shrunken uh, vacuole inside the microscope so in uh, case of turgid cell the turgor pressure is present because uh, the vacuole is filled with uh, water water supply was good for the plant in flaccid cell the turgor pressure is lost and in case of plasmolyzed cell cell membrane completely gets separated from the cell wall of the cell and uh, large amount of water is lost from that particular cell hence uh, vacu vacuole also shrinks okay so in the process of wilting plant cells become plasmolyzed and the moment plant cells become plasmolyzed they actually lose their rigidity as the turgor pressure is lost okay so they lose their rigidity and hence the plant will wilt okay you can see here uh, there are like you know the uh, these are the leaves of the wilting plant okay this is another image which is actually showing the wilting of petals of the flower okay these are the petals of the flower here you can see the rose flower the stem of the uh, the cells present in the stem of this uh, rose plant has also lost their uh, rigidity okay because of less amount of water and you can see here the leaf which is present in the wilting condition okay so as per exam point of view just remember wilting takes place when uh, or wilting occurs when the rate of transpiration is higher than the rate of absorption of water and uh, another point uh, is like uh, because the rate of transpiration is higher the cells of the leaf or petals or stem they lose uh, turgor pressure and they become flaccid and uh, because of continuous loss of water the cells become plasmolyzed okay and hence the plant wilts in next video we are going to discuss about translocation take care till then bye bye